I'm Blake from Econet. Today I'm going to talk about video door valves and what I came up with as an alternative. So I like the idea of a video doorbell. It'd be cool to see what's happening at the front door and perhaps answer the door remotely with my phone. Well, it didn't really work out as I expected. There were subscription fees for certain features and the live two-way feed was clumsy. Generally, the solution was awkward and it certainly didn't fit in with my invisible smart home philosophy. Just check out Reed's smart home solver video. I've included a link uh, below in the uh, description. It's a good review of some recent video doorbells and some of the compromises. This is the solution I've come up with. So a low cost uh, camera that can do person and animal detection as well as regular motion detection. Dual uh, motion sensors on the porch so I can tell the difference between somebody approaching and somebody departing. Both the standard porch light and a security light connected to the uh, smart home as well as the uh, garage light and a second uh, security camera that I can tell when somebody's approaching the driveway. A contact sensor on the front door of course so I can tell when the door's been opened or closed. And lastly a simple device inside a standard doorbell so when the smart the smart home knows when somebody has pushed the doorbell button. And of course the doorbell button is not a big awkward looking thing that uh, causes confusion. It's just a standard button. There's also a doorbell at the back and I presume there's two plungers in there or electromagnets and one uh, sound for the back and one sound for the front. I'm not going to integrate this button right away but I probably will eventually. The sensor for the doorbell didn't actually exist so I first tried the idea with a uh, vibration sensor what I, which I would just stick inside the uh, the inside chime, the doorbell box. And that mostly worked, but it was a little unreliable because if there was thunder or somehow somebody banged the wall or heavy footsteps, it would pick that up. Um, and then I next thought I could just use a, um, just buy a low power um, Wi-Fi relay or Zigbee relay or Z-Wave relay. Uh, and it's hard to find low power uh, relays. So I turned again to our uh, Econet valve controller because you know I have access to them and it can be set up as a Z-Wave low power relay runs off of 12 volts and I used a uh, AC to DC converter to bring power to that and our our relay can be controlled uh, with an input on the side um, and I connected that to a normally uh, open read switch and that seemed to do the trick all right so here's a quick uh, bench test of the uh, concept so because i couldn't find a uh, low power uh, 12 volt or dc relay in the z-wave zigbee or wi-fi category i'm just going to use one of our uh, z-wave bulldog controllers it can be set up as a relay and i've done just that i've set it up as a relay and as a relay, there's a 2.5 millimeter connector here that you would control it with a relay to open close, but it still shows status in uh, smart things, as you can see. And I've soldered on a, a quick test of a reed switch that's normally closed. And when you bring it close to a magnet, It, uh, it'll close the valve. And I could reverse that and have it open the valve if I wanted to. But for this purpose, it's perfectly set up. And of course, you don't need the, uh, the bulldog connected. That's just for my little testing here on the bench. And you can see, you can hear it clicking and you can see in smart things, you can see the status. This is how a doorbell works. Basically you have a 24 volt um, AC power source from some transformer that's buried behind a wall somewhere and probably in the basement. This is the uh, one side of that 24 volts connected to two sides to the two switches on one side. 
This is the other side of that 24 volts right here, connected to both of these coils, which act as electromagnets and kind of like a solenoid. So one in the um, switch shorts out the first doorbell. It throws the one pendulum or the one uh, solenoid and the front doorbell does both. So what I'm going to do is hook up, pick up power from here. Sorry about that. Pick up power from here and go to my AC to DC converter to power, the Z-Wave relay. And I'm going to put the reed switch to one side of this coil here. When it's close to the coil, hopefully it'll pick up the electromagnet and it'll uh, activate. Let's see what happens. All right, I've wired up the uh, AC to DC converter from the 24 volts AC from the doorbell power source. But before I connect it to my Z-Wave uh, relay, where I would plug it in there, I'm just going to check that it is 12 volts DC coming out. So I've got the uh, one side of the, the plus of the meter plugged into there. And let's touch the other side. We've got 12 volts. All right, so I have my little temporary setup. I am gonna have to figure out how to tuck this all in there. I'm going to uh, make a space for an electrical box behind the doorbell, and that's where I'm going to tuck the, uh, the Z-Wave uh, relay electronics. If we were to do this as a production product, I would make it, um, you know, fit inside the box, a small circuit, and I would probably not use a reed switch, and I would just pick up uh, on the current draw of the two doorbells to determine if which one was pushed. But it's working. But you do have to get the uh, reed switch at the, at, at the end of this cable in the right spot. It's right behind the, uh, the first coil there. So when the, uh, you can see in smart things, I'm just gonna test it here by shorting this out. You can see in smart things, that uh, it works. So now when someone rings the doorbell, I get a notification in smart things. And then I can make decisions based on that, turn on lights, set a recording, and so on. So now I have a uh, smart home solution. So I know when somebody's on the porch, arriving or departing, I have video history of events, I can answer the door with my camera if I want to for two-way communications. And it's also a good security feature. I can uh, control the lights and so on out there. And I'm even thinking of adding a, a smart speaker and that's cool.